Hi, good afternoon folks, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2013 on a 13 plate uh, Volkswagen Caddy uh, Maxi, so it's the long wheelbase model. Um, it's a 1.6 TDI. Uh, it has covered uh, 43,000 miles from new uh, and uh, it's a two keeper from new vehicle. So uh, Sky Television were the first owners. Uh, and then the second owners is a company that we deal with. Uh, now it's just come back in part exchange. Uh, it's a straight tidy van. There's a couple of minor bits to do on it. Nothing major, sort of dent manny stuff if I'm honest with you. I'll try and point that out to you as we go around. Um, but overall a really nice condition, a lovely specification van. Um, and uh, you know quite a rare bit of kit as well at this sort of price range. So with this specification on it being the key thing, because although it looks like a start line, uh, you know, British, oh, sorry, not British gas, uh, Sky TV tend to run these inside to uh, sort of high line specification. So it has electric windows, electric heated mirrors, it has air conditioning, it has factory sat nav, uh, it has reverse parking sensors, and it has Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. So really nice specification. Only 43,000 miles as well, and it's just had a fresh cambo and water pump fitted to it. Starting up here on the roof, um, looks fairly straight and tidy to me, to be honest. There's a few bits on it from the tree where it's been parked overnight, um, but all straight and tidy. Coming down onto your windscreen, uh, the windscreen is um, pretty damn good, to be fair. You're always going to get little micro chips on them but there is certainly nothing substantial on a stone chip front and certainly nothing that's going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time, of which it will have a 12 month ticket on it before it goes out the door with us. Now body wise, they're pretty damn good because they're wrapped from new by Sky. So obviously, you know, your Sky vans, you've seen them around, they've all got uh, substantial wrapping on them, haven't they? So uh, bonnet wise, uh, really nice, tidy condition. Coming down onto your front bumper, the front bumper is all good. Coming round to the front of the vehicle. So we have some minor scuffing on the front bumper there that you can see at the moment. Um, and we have some minor crazing on the headlamp unit. Uh, the headlamp units are made of plastic. It is not unusual for them to see them go like this. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, if we can pick up a second hand one for uh, not stupid money, then we'll bang a unit in it for you. Uh, the scuff, scuff as you can see on the bumper there, uh, yeah, I think we'll probably get that smart repaired by our smart repairer when he comes in. Um, so it looks worse in this sunlight than it, uh, it probably is normally. Uh, wheel wise, as you can see, steel wheels on it. Uh, they're not in bad condition equally. They're not perfect. You do have a Kumo tire on the front there and that has plenty of tire tread depth left on that tire. Passenger front wing, passenger front wing is all good with no dents or damage passenger mirror unit again mirror unit itself is secure no damage on there and mirrors as well are all good uh, the door glass is down on the vehicle at the moment it's such a hot day today but uh, yeah all door glass is good passenger side front door again uh, we've got a really minor mark or scratch behind your driver's door handle there uh, that is about the only mark on that door if I get down nice and low, you can see along, go along the side of the vehicle, your sills are all in good condition. The rubber uh, rubbing strip here, that's in good order as well. Your door handles uh, are okay. Uh, and your sliding door, now we've got a little bit, Sky TV vans for some reason, uh, they don't have a inner protection on this sliding door. Uh, it has got an outie ding on it there. Uh, we will get that, get our dent man on it, see what he can do in order to get rid of that for you. So you have got that mark there. And if we come down to the lower part of the sliding door, that's all good as well. Uh, lower rear quarter passenger side, again, all in good order. And the upper rear quarter has a little bit of a ding here. Don't know whether you can see that in the video. So probably just caught it there. We'll get the dent man on it, see what he can do from there as well for you. Uh, sliding door rail, that is all good. Fuel flap in there with your lockable fuel flap, obviously. Sliding door, 
passenger side that opens nicely and slides along nicely as well I'll just give you a view of the interior from here so normally they're heavily wrapped inside by sky that has been removed uh, you do it will leave a little bit of scratching on the uh, on the paintwork on the inside but you've got some additional led lights up there on the roof and the flooring in the back is this uh, lovely heavy duty flooring as well that is in good order plastic bulkhead as you can see full height factory bulkhead there that's all in good order minor scratches on it but nothing major you've got some additional kind of hooks up here with a 12 volt power over there as well and your entry sill as you can see the painted sill is all good as is the plastic um, sill step coming around to the back of the vehicle so steel wheel again this side and uh, we have a tire on there. I don't know. Oh no, we're going to replace that tire. It's got some damage on the sidewall, so that will be replaced for you. Back of the vehicle, it is um, rear barn doors, as you can see. Uh, your glazing on the back has got a security glaze on it, so it's fully blacked out. You can't see into the vehicle. Uh, your upper brake light that has some cracking in it, so we'll get that replaced on it for you as well. And then on the rear doors here, next to the badge, looks like it's had something, a ding or something repaired there in the past. Uh, we'll get it, have a look at our smart man, have a look at that, because it does look a bit shite, doesn't it? Let's face it. So if you can kind of get away with doing a repair, because you've also got a scratch here as well. So because it's white, I think we might get away with just getting that rear door painted on it, and then that'll get rid of all of that for you. Uh, your bumper. There are elements of, so you've got a little bit of a scuff there, and there are elements of loading marks on your bumper. Nothing major, but it is on there, okay? You do have reverse parking sensors, as you can maybe have noticed. And just opening up the vehicle here, to give you a viewpoint from this side. Obviously, being a maxi model, it's, as I say, the long wheelbase. It's got the twin side loading doors on it as well. Interior of your doors. Not bad, you've got your security shields over your rear windows as well on each side of the van. But uh, yeah, I mean, overall, uh, you know, we sell a lot of these Sky vans there, I think represent great value for money for the specification of the vehicle that you get. And then looking down the drive side of the vehicle, there's a couple of dings to point out to you on here as well. So we'll do that as we go along. But uh, just coming to, I don't think I've done the rear light units. Rear light unit, driver side's all good. And then the rear light unit, passenger side, that is all in good order. Uh, bumper this side, again, minor marks, but nothing major. And then on this panel here, so we've got a couple of dings here. So we've got a ding here, a ding here, uh, yeah, and we've got a little one here. Um, we'll see what we can do with the dent man on it. I can't promise that he'll get everything out, but he may well be able to get it looking better than what it is, okay? But upper panel, apart from those dings, is pretty good. And then your lower panel again, that's pretty good as well. Sliding door rail this side, again, that's in good order. Steel wheel this side, you know, minor marks on it, but nothing major. And again, that has plenty of tire tread depth on it as well. Sliding door, driver's side, upper, uh, that's all good. And sliding door, driver's side, lower, that's all good as well. Looking down at your seals, again, nothing major to point out to you. Pretty straight and tidy. And then driver's door, again, all good. Mirror unit, all good. And the mirror glass, all good. Coming around to your driver's side front wing, again, that's all pretty good. Steel wheel this side, again, minor marks on it, but nothing major. And again, plenty of tyre tread depth on that tyre as well. So just opening it up from the inside to the back here, so you can just get an idea. There's your entry seals and plastics, they're in good order. And your bulkhead again from this side. Just giving you a different perspective of the rear, basically. Just, uh, just quickly showing you kind of say the level of valeting detail that we do. All your door edges are clean and tidy, as you can see. Right, opening up driver's side, let's just quickly pop open your bonnet and have a look underneath your bonnet. So bonnet pull obviously is down on your driver's footwell. Your uh, entry pull is just above your badge. You just flip that one up there. That opens up your bonnet. 
So your bonnet is on hydraulic lifters, as you can see, that keeps it open nice for you. Uh, looking at your bonnet bolts, they're all original, your wing bolts, all original paintwork on there as well. Batteries underneath here, fuse box, air filter here. Uh, no engine cover on any of the Volkswagen commercial product, just in case you're looking at it and thinking that there should be. And then your coolant is down there. That has obviously been replaced at the same time as your cam belt and your tensioners uh, and your water pump. So uh, that's all new and all good under there as well. And so inside the vehicle, driver's door card, that's all clean and tidy. Entry seals on the driver's side, as you can see, painted parts are all good. The plastic parts are all good as well. Rubber flooring inside is all good. Rubber on your pedals all good. The driver's seat squabs all good. Driver's seats or both seats are all clean and tidy. Factory bulkhead, you've got your um, additional shelf up there above your head. Uh, as I say, electric heated mirrors, electric windows and you've got manual lights why they there we go get the focus right i think the camera's struggling a little bit from shade to sunlight but as you can see there we go forty-three thousand miles and fire it up now just fires up all your warning lights go out it's just telling me that we haven't got a seat belt on at the moment and that the handbrake is on um, but ticks over nicely this one does have cruise control fitted to it as well. And then the buttons on the end over here are for your trip meter, which is shown on your dash here. Uh, and then over here, we've got air conditioning and your factory sat nav, um, Bluetooth telephone, Bluetooth music. Five speed manual gearbox, electronic stability program is over here and stop start technology is over here. But just looking in between your seats, hopefully you can see, clean and tidy no old McDonald's down there or anything floor mats that side all good you got a handbook there look and your tr passenger seat trim etc that's all clean and tidy on top of your dashboard again that's clean and tidy as well so overall really good and just to quickly say so it's a two keeper from new 1.6 TDI start line but obviously with additional specification so uh, electric windows, electric heated mirrors, air conditioning, cruise control, uh, factory sat nav and Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. Um, so really nice specification. There are 60 odd photos on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester based in the centre of the country offering you nationwide delivery, finance, part exchange, etc, etc. Should you need any further details, feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com. Thanks for looking at the video. Appreciate your patience.